Hey guys! In today's tutorial, I will share with you some knowledge about color theory, which will help you to create more harmonious combinations of colors and, as a result, more beautiful paintings. Some knowledge about color psychology – how color affects a human. I will show you a really easy abstract acrylic painting technique by creating a very positive and energetic painting. I will also tell you how to find the perfect place for your masterpiece so that your interior and your painting emphasize the beauty of each other and not clash with each other. Have you ever had such a thing that when you look at a painting and feel that something is wrong with the colors, but what exactly you don't understand, like on this painting? If the answer is yes, or if it seems to you that everything is alright with it and you don't understand what kind of disharmony I am talking about, then the following information is for you. It will help you to choose more harmonious colors so that the painting will be more pleasing to the eye, like on this original artwork. This gorgeous painting made by Jason Anderson. On the first example on the left, I slightly changed the color settings in Photoshop. And you can see how awful the first picture looks and how harmonious the original is. If not, then don't worry, you just need to train your eyes by looking at more examples of masterpieces made by great artists and photographers. And sooner or later you will begin to distinguish between good and bad art. So, let's get down to the color theory for today's painting. The colors I choose for today's painting together constitute a split complementary harmony. This harmony consists of three colors. I used orange as the dominant main color. It will also be a complementary color. Complementary colors are two opposite colors on the color wheel. Orange is complementary to blue. Yellow-orange is complementary to blue-violet. Yellow-green is complementary to red-violet, etc. Let's go back to our example. Since today we have not just a complementary harmony, but a split complementary, this means that we will take the colors adjacent to blue. Blue splits violet-blue and blue-green. Hence, the name of this harmony is split complementary. Since paints tend to mix with each other, as a result we got a painting in an analogous complementary harmony. An analogous complementary harmony is three slices of a color wheel adjacent to each other – blue-violet, blue and blue-green – plus the complementary color. As you already know, is the color of the opposite side of the color wheel, which would be orange for these colors. All of the above color schemes are quite complex, so if you are a beginner artist, I recommend using analogous harmony. An analogous harmony is three slices of color wheel adjacent to each other. For example, red, red, orange, orange, or yellow, yellow, green, and green, etc. It is one of the simplest harmonies, but most important, when your colors begin to mix, they will mix harmoniously and you will not get confused in the new hues that appear when paints are going to mix with each other. Let's summarize what color harmonies we learned. A complementary harmony – two opposite colors. A split complementary harmony – two colors separated by one plus the opposite color. An analogous harmony – three adjacent slices. An analogous complementary harmony – three adjacent slices plus the opposite one. These are not all existing harmonies, but only those that relate to today's painting. I don't want to overwhelm you with information, but give it in small chunks for more effective learning. Write in the comments below if you want me to share with you my theoretical knowledge in the next videos. Here is the list of art supplies we need. Today I used 24 by 24 inch stretch primed canvas. Now I am just coating the canvas with an even layer of orange paint. I would prefer to do it with a roller, as it is much faster, also the paint consumption is higher, but I had on the even most expensive orange paint, so I prefer to apply it with a brush, which takes longer, but the paint consumption is small. I am applying the paint in horizontal and vertical directions with a white flat brush, misting the canvas with water for better paint stretching. Since the colors of the painting are very intense, I didn't want to overload the composition, so I am going to keep the background empty with just a flat coat of orange paint. If you prefer more complex composition, here is a link to my other tutorial.
I am applying undiluted paints directly from the tube with two palette knives. And this is the second type of palette knife I'm gonna use now. It gives very beautiful lines. I use it quite often when creating texture with modeling paste. You also can find it in the same video by clicking on the link. Color is a very powerful tool for influencing a human. And if you want your artwork to always please you, I will tell you a little bit about color psychology. Rich orange color makes you more active, it attracts your attention, it provokes your emotional excitement and evokes a sense of urgency. For a short time this color can improve your working capacity and concentration. But after a while you can get color fatigue from such an aggressive impact. And the opposite effect will occur, like irritability will increase and who has a tendency to anger, the color can provoke aggression. Therefore, painting with such a vibrant orange color are best used as accent in the interior, so that energizes you and doesn't make you tired. In light of the above, I would not recommend hanging this kind of painting in the bedroom. Also, bright orange, yellow and red increases appetite and makes you rush. Therefore, surrounded by such colors in the dining room, you would eat like in McDonald's. Take a lot of food, eat quickly and leave the table as up. And such a diet, as you know, does not contribute to a slim figure. So if you are constantly trying to lose weight, large areas of these maximum saturated colors in the dining room or kitchen undesirable. However, if you want the interior to invigorate you on a gloomy morning, then hang the painting in the room where you want to get the burst of energy. For example, in the living room or in the fitness room as an additional energy booster for your workouts or in the reception or meeting room in your office. If someone still remembers what an office is, so that your colleagues do not fall asleep during boring meetings. Also, orange is a warm color. So, in a room with this color, people subjectively feel the temperature a little higher than it actually is. Paintings in warm colors will be especially relevant in the causes of people who live in the countries with a few sunny days a year. I would place this bright artwork in an interior with a predominance of achromatic colors, that is white, gray and black. And where the orange color, if presents, then presents as an accent, like this orange pillow in this photo, or where orange is unsaturated, as these brick walls in this photo. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, and if you are into acrylic painting, then you are missing out on a lot of free content that I am posting here on this Indiru channel. So hit the red subscribe button, like this video if you enjoy the content, and I am looking forward to seeing you in my next videos. Bye bye!